Hey everybody, Brandon here from the Debbie Deep Dive Podcast. Thanks for tuning into the scouting and film analysis of Ohio State running back Trey Sermon. If you're looking for Debbie content on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. Not only do I provide detailed scouting reports like this one, but frequently post seasonal highlight videos of younger Debbie assets. So hit that subscribe button now. Appreciate that. All right. I also host the Debbie Deep Dive podcast each week where I discuss the Debbie landscape and introduce younger Debbie assets to give you advantage in your Debbie and Dynasty leagues. All right. So let's talk about Trey Sermon. All right. Everyone's excited, right? He's going to Ohio State. He entered he entered the transfer portal. However, as you may or may, may not be aware, Sermon lost touches throughout last season and by week seven had basically lost the job, the starting job to Kennedy Brooks again when they played West Virginia. So that to me is a red flag. He was a junior last year and when you lose touches and you lose the starting gig, I think that is a red flag. Okay, so in this video, I have basically recorded every catch and carry of Sermon's 2019 season. So you're going to be able to see for yourself. But before you watch all the plays, I want to review a few plays with you and share some concerns that I have about his game. All right. So if you look at his overall stats from last year, all right, he had a 7.1 average. Okay. So you're thinking to yourself, oh, he was very productive. True. But in film analysis, you have to watch all the plays to get a thorough perspective of the player. Stats can be misleading at times. I mean, Lincoln Riley must have seen something to diminish his role. I mean, that's how I'm thinking about this, right? So I dug into his film and I see three areas of his game um, that, that give me a pause and have a concern that he can be a RB1 or 2 for our dynasty teams in the future. His vision and instincts, his contact balance, his elusiveness and change of direction ability. Now, he's going to have the opportunity to improve in all of these facets of his game at Ohio State next year. But there are deficiencies that I want to go over with you. So we're going to go over some clips. We're going to see real quick you know, what I see on film, and then you're going to enjoy the rest of the video and watch the rest of his highlights um, so you can get your own uh, kind of take on what your thoughts are on Trey Sermon. So, man, let's let's get to the film. All right, these first three plays, we're going to talk about his vision and instincts, okay? And you're going to notice that he cuts inside unexplainably three uh, during these three plays, okay? And I'm going to do them all in slow motion here. So he's going to be coming through the line of scrimmage right here, okay? So at this point, he's got to make a decision. You can see he's looking to the field to see what his next play is. And this guy here, his offensive lineman, is pretty much on this defender right here. And he's got everything blocked. And he's got this wide open lane on the outside. But for some reason, he cuts inside where all the traffic is. And you can still see nobody out here. And he gets tackled and just basically goes into these players. And, f you know, so I felt like he left yards on the field on that particular play. Okay, here we go again on another play with the same exact thing. Okay, so here he is. We're going to stop the film. All right, he sees this player here. This guy's been, you know, pretty much blocked up by his offensive lineman. I don't think he trusts his outside speed. I think he doesn't believe that he can outrun this player. And he goes, again, inside. Instead of trying to work outside, he go, decides to go inside. And he's kind of off balance here. And then he, he goes into this traffic with his high, look. He doesn't lower his pads until it's a little too late. And he gets his bell bang. He got his bell rung right there. And takes a, a hit that it seems to be like unnecessary. Here's the third play looking at his vision, okay, that I question the same kind of play. Okay, so here he goes. He's running through the line of scrimmage. Okay, now look, this defender is here. This guy here is going to be nicking him up and most likely taking on this linebacker right here. Now, Trey Sermon has an outside lane here. Again, I don't believe he trusts his speed and his instincts, and it, it, maybe it's just his vision. I'm not sure. But what does he do? He he stops with some poor footwork here, doesn't really jab step or anything, and goes into the pile and gets tackled. So this is where I have a concern with his vision ability. Um, go back to there for a second. Um, those three plays just really make me question his, his ability to see the field and take the proper angle. All right, let's take a look at his contact balance, okay? Um, he, again, he is six foot, 221 pounds, and I expect more contact balance and lower body strength out of a guy with that size, all right? So let's take a look at this first play here, okay? And you see he goes through the line of scrimmage, and this player here is going to hit him, and he immediately goes down. And you're going to see throughout this film, he goes down, I mean, really at first contact the majority of the time. So the guy gets nicked up, but it looks like he just fell forward, like he didn't absorb that contact, and I just see this throughout his game film a lot. So here's another play, and I believe we're going to do slow motion, and, I, and he's a gaping hole right here, 
and then he comes in. Okay, and I'm going to just stop it right here. Okay, so this player is going to is going to tackle him and at least have his get first contact on him. And it appears that Trey Sermon just falls down way too easily. Look, all right, he's grabbing his legs, but he is already falling forward. Now, I know he's going to get his bell rung. You can see these three players, and he's probably scared out of his mind. He's going to get hit pretty hard. But he just doesn't show any toughness in there and just completely falls down in front of these players. Instead of trying to run through that initial contact and get that first yardage, you know, I just think his contact balance. Okay, here's another play. He gets thrown back with this line of scrimmage like a rag doll. Okay, again, he's approaching the line of scrimmage. A question is vision here as well. Um, doesn't really put his head down. He approaches the line of scrimmage in an upright position and then get, just gets thrown, you know, back like a rag doll. Um, just not showing any kind of lower body kind of power or strength. And you see this as well, you know, throughout his film. All right, we got two more clips here before I let you watch the rest of the video here. And we're going to talk about his change of direction and his elusiveness. Um, and I really just looking at his footwork and when he runs, does he run in control is my first question. Okay, so we're going to run this film here. We're going to take this first one. We're going to run it at full speed. I'm just going to run decent burst running around the edge, comes up, just runs a little wild there out of control. But let's take a look at it a little closer. All right. So here he goes. He's going to run around the edge. I want to stop this a couple times so we can kind of see some stuff. All right. So he goes around the edge. Okay. And right here, he's going to be making a cut. And I want you to watch his left arm. He's always flaring his arms wildly throughout this film, kind of keeping his balance. He doesn't run compactly where he, I feel like he's in control. I feel like he, in this run, let's take a look at his footwork, but watch how he runs out of control and the, the big wide steps. His footwork isn't compact and tight and efficient. He's just like, you can see how wide his, you know, when your feet are this wide apart, you, you know, you just, you lose all your leverage. And I feel like in this play, he's just running wild. I mean, look again, another huge, instead of running compactly and in control, I feel like he's just out of control, just running wild through here. And then he just, you know, takes this crazy hit and, you know, he ends up hurting himself on that play. He hurt his head. I think he was knocked out for a couple plays. But again, that just showing his, um, his, his footwork isn't great. His change of direction ability isn't crisp. There was no like stop foot, go foot or any direct cuts. And when you watch the rest of this game film, I want you to just watch his footwork and you know, do you see any explosive cuts? I don't see a ton. Here's another one. We're going to watch this in full speed first and then go back and watch. Okay, you see that little pitter-patter there? Now, he makes a nice run, and you're saying to yourself, hey, man, that's a good play. But again, I mean, just look at the footwork. It's not the best. Okay, there's another. There's some, you know, again, no hard cut make getting out from behind his offensive lineman here. And then, you know, here he sees this player coming. He wants to cut again back inside. He doesn't trust his speed to go outside. He's going to cut in, and this is what he does all the time. Now, on this particular play, it actually works out. But just watch his footwork. You know, there's no, there's no like, see the pitter-patter here? There's no plant foot, go foot, where, he, you know, it's kind of, he's just, it works on this play, but that's not going to work in the NFL. You know, that, that kind of footwork, it needs to be more decisive, I think. So, you know, he just doesn't seem to run in control. I, feel, I, I look at that, and it just looks like he's out of control when he's running. So, all right, that's it. I mean, that's all I'm going to comment on the film. I got a ton more clips here you're going to watch, okay? So just when you ask yourself these questions when you're watching this film, okay? How often does he make the first guy miss? Do you see any wow cuts? Do you see any wow plays in this entire film? Something that, you know, any, any plays at all that just you're like, wow, he has elite ability. Um, look, he's a great player. I think he's going to do a great job in Ohio State. If I'm a Debbie player and I have him on my roster, I'm seriously considering selling him right now. I think his value is never going to be lower. Or I'm sorry, never going to be higher. And now is the time to maybe field some offers on Trey Sermon. I'm sure at Ohio State he's going to be, you know, putting out some gaudy stats just because that team is so good with such a good offensive line and Justin Fields and all those receivers. So he's probably going to be very successful. But from a technical standpoint, looking at his game, taking it to the NFL, um, I don't know. I just have my concerns. So I got some great tunes here that go along with the rest of the clips. Enjoy the rest of the video, everyone. And please share a comment in this. You want to debate with me with this player and tell me what you see. Go in the comments section and tell me what you think and let's talk about it. Um, all right, man. Enjoy the rest of the film.